Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so today is moving day. I'm getting ready to head out to the RV. I'm back in Louisiana. I'll be taking the RV down to So I'll be water. heading out this morning, well, probably this afternoon really. I'm going to Robertsdale, Alabama first. I'm gonna do an overnight at the Hilltop because it's convenient. It's right off of I-10, so that's gonna be real good. Before I do that though, I've got a number of things I gotta do on Myrtle. I've gotta get, uh, check our air pressures, oil, transmission fluid, and unfortunately, the battery is dead. The brand new battery that oh, I just I'm bought. Get a, a charger oh. and charge up the, uh, the battery. So, get that taken care of. And um, interestingly enough, there's been a lot going on since uh, I bought the new RV. Lots of craziness in terms of organization and getting organized to uh, get the um, my RV back to Florida for the trade um, because I don't have the equipment to flat tow the um, truck I've uh, contracted with a transport company that made me a great deal and uh, thank my brother for that because um, otherwise I don't know that, that would have happened we had all kinds of crazy plans we were gonna have, have him ride up with us and then I was gonna drive the truck and he wanted to drive the RV back and then that didn't work out and then my mom was gonna drive the truck back and I was gonna drive the RV back and I was just like, no, 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 no. None of this is gonna happen. We're gonna go ahead and contract to get the truck down. And what's nice about this is that when it's all said and done, I'll have a complete setup so that I can travel and not have to worry about how I'm gonna get my, my vehicle to somewhere and it's just, it's gonna be so much better. So much better. Anyway, we left Sarasota, Florida last night, well, yesterday at um, about one o'clock Eastern time. And we arrived in Lafayette, Louisiana at about three o'clock Eastern time. So it was a bit of a drive, but it really wasn't too bad. Um, actually, the drive went very well. We had great weather all the way. And um, it was probably the last 125 miles where I thought to myself, I've got to get out of this truck. I want this trip over with. But one of the things that I, I said to myself as I did this is, this is the last time I'm going to make this crazy whirlwind 12 event. I'm on my way right now to uh, Walmart because I need to get a charger for the battery. And once I get the charger, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and charge that a little bit. And then I'm gonna get Myrtle started up. I'm, I'm actually working on the preparations to get Myrtle on the road. And we're gonna be leaving here today. So I'll put you know video up of this as well and uh, I'm gonna drive about five hours today and then I'm gonna rest in Alabama and then from there I'm gonna head out to um, to uh, Florida and on Friday I'll make the, the remaining 182 miles and uh, I guess that's it so that's the opening I guess of this video hey guys so um, I have started the first leg of my trip and that leg is um, heading from Lafayette, Louisiana, back to Alabama. So I'm going to stay at the Hilltop tonight, and um, I'm just doing an overnight. And then I'm back on the road early in the morning, and I'm um, driving far, as far as I can to Florida. I'm hoping that I can reach um, Ocala tomorrow, which would be really good. And so, um, you know, got Myrtle all set up to the road. I have a new clip and it's on the steering wheel so I'm trying to stabilize it and um, it's been a good trip so far we're about to get a massive storm so I'm gonna keep this kind of short okay youtubers so I'm almost to Mississippi so it's gonna be nice to be out of Louisiana because the roads in Louisiana suck anyway um, something going on with my windshield wipers every time I hit a bump they start wiping but it's all good, um, they still work, so that's a good thing. Um, I put some rain -X on the windshield and we, man, that stuff works wonderful. I love rain -X. Um, So yeah, it's a great, uh, a great product. So the RV's been running great. Um, I'm almost to, uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to get to Mississippi. I'm leaving Louisiana. And um, so far, so good, everything's been fine. And knock on wood. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you. 
we got a pretty bad storm in Baton Rouge, but not, you know, it wasn't, it was just a lot of wind and a lot of rain. But other than that, everything went, seemed to go well. All right, so I will be back uh, with another update here shortly. Hey, good morning YouTubers and RV fans. So I wanted to give you an update. I got to the hilltop last night, probably at about 7.30, quarter to eight central time. And uh, the trip was real good. Um, I'm, it's, it's now early morning, uh, day two of my road trip back to Florida. So I'm getting ready to head out, but I just wanted to get up a video so that you guys were able to um, keep up to date on what's going on. And uh, I gotta tell you something. Walking around the RV after traveling through the Louisiana roads. Um, here, I want to show you this real quick if I can, if there's enough light. You can see the microwave was bounced. Bounced. Literally bounced. Let me see. You can see that better. The microwave was literally bounced out of its casing. <laughs> That's how rough driving in Louisiana is. Anyway, I'm back on the road so this morning and I'll try and get up another video if I can. My goal is to get to Ocala today and then um, the final leg of the trip will be about 100 miles from Ocala on Friday. So um, getting Merle to the dealership for the trade. All right, stay tuned. The uh, journey continues. <laughs> 